G'day guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. It's basically just me and Cookson just behind the scenes of the live stream. It took a little bit to get the live stream up and running this week, but thanks to our man Kyle Lettridge um, doing a lot of behind the scenes work, uh, we got it looking a little bit more professional this week. We're gonna work on getting um, it in a higher definition uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know anything about this sort of stuff, but we're gonna try and get it in better quality for next week um, Which we should hopefully be able to do the D's are also playing the cats at GMHBA Stadium this week And I've got a few tales from going to that football ground So I'll be discussing those throughout this video if you haven't already follow me on Instagram and uh, I'll speak to you guys very very soon uh, Filming with the king the young king I've got one in the eye. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> yeah, got a bit of a inflamed left eye. Mum reckons I'll pick my nose and then put it in my eye. Has it get it on camera? I don't even reckon it's that nose. No, you can't. Yeah, it's definitely that is. <laughs> really? Yeah. Is it pussy in the morning? No. Oh. <laughs> I hate pink eye. It's not pink eye. <laughs> You've got pink eye. It's not pink eye. <laughs> yeah. Keep it's that away from me. Now it's good to be back. Uh, Kados and Cook reacts because I've been working all week on the live stream. It's coming along nicely. You haven't seen it yet? Shout out, our man Kay Etridge. And uh, yeah, we can't wait to bring it to you tomorrow night. But today, what did you just start a new recording or did you? Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say, <laughs> worked it out. But um, yeah, today we're gonna film a couple of videos, so. Geez, picture perfect day, I tell you, something oh. for nothing. No but, shoes, yes or no? Go on the no shoes when we're going to film in the bush. I always go no shoes. It's questionable. If it ain't no shoes, it ain't. Go twos. So um, yeah, gonna film the intro to the live stream right now, and then we're gonna go practice a live stream. We're gonna do a little pracky one. We are so much more prepared for the live stream than we were last week. Yeah, last week we were shambles. But to be fair, last week I was sat in my room for 18 hours doing the um uh, the song. So we got a bit more time, got a bit more preparation. Pink eye. Let's get that away from my new phone. That is gross. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fun fact, this creek is in between Cookson and my house. A lot closer to yours. And I used to walk down there and jump over the um, the water every time I went to his. We haven't been down here for a little while. We're bush bashing. A little fucky bucky. <laughs> oh, what a day. I'm going to get sick of walking around here. <laughs> What's this doing here? Uh, this has a bit of Logan Paul about it. Oh, <laughs> I didn't get that. <laughs> what is that for? I don't know. Wait, oh, I can see. Oh, <laughs> oh, this is gonna break. <laughs> yeah, I reckon that's gonna go. Oh. oh this is not gonna. Oh! <laughs> bit of hang time for Ryan Sheckler. <laughs> Cowabunga, dude. What's um, old Marty Fly from Back to the Future? Hey, McFly. Hey, Doc. <laughs> Make like a tree and get the hell out of here, McFly. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Cookson. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that again. Uh, Did you not mean to fall? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Leave that in. Go in slow mo again. Yeah. Do you want me to run past? from the other way. We've worked very hard on uh, getting this right for this week. There's been a lot of changes in the live streaming uh, in the live streaming section of the Katie McDonald brand. We've sacked the person who did last week's and we brought in Kyle Ettridge. Moon is out. Who's uh, done bits and pieces, but we're just having a bit of a dress rehearsal. Kyle's the goat. Having a bit of a dress rehearsal tonight, Cook, so we're yep. very prepared for tomorrow night. We are, and we'll still probably stuff up somehow. We will. we got Morgan Jolly joining us. What's he? Uh, he's featured heavily on your vlogs with yeah, the basketball. At United. Great mate of both of ours. He'll be coming on and watching the footy with us. So we're just giving it another test, and um, yeah, we're having a good time. Fun, fun, fun with everyone at fun. Everyone comment down and say whether you like the live stream or not, because the live stream would have happened by the time you guys see this vlog. If you haven't joined into the fun of the live stream yet, uh, we've been doing it this week. It is the Crows taking on the Catters. So um, Thursday, 7.30. In Rabelais. Join us from there. But uh, yeah, we're currently 
a day away from doing this Call live show. The guest will be William Van Gans. Hope so. I'm putting that on you, Van Gans. That'd be huge. That'd be huge. But um, yeah, we're a day away from doing the uh, the Tigers Pies live stream, and we're pumped. We got the Cannon Cam. Oh, it's just all everything's everything's coming up, Dosso. Smick. So just on our way for a bit of a shop, I'm going after a grilled chicken salad for Dins. Um, been addicted to I'm those. I'm having curry, Bindu. Are you? Oh yeah, you're having a curry, aren't you? Venison curry. Your dad's whipped up a yeah, bit of elk. <laughs> bit of elk. Bit of an elk Joe curry. Mode. Elk. Um, but yeah, just been munching the uh, the chicken salads whenever I eat out. So may as well try and whip one up now. I'll let you down there, guys. I um. I whipped up dinner and forgot to film because I was so pumped on whipping up dinner. But um, yeah, made a, a cheeky chicken salad, um, a, a warm chicken salad, whatever you want to call it. Here's a picture. Took a photo of it, but um, loving it at the moment. Loving YouTube. Can't get enough. Um, the live streams are, are so much fun and so exciting. Um, reminds me of doing community radio back in the day. And like being live, like live on something is, um, it's a real buzz. It's something I really love and have missed. Um, and yeah, YouTube's just, you know, not kicking off, but it's, it's fun over footy when there's more eyes on the channel and I just want to take advantage of it really. I don't think I'd really taken advantage of a footy season yet. So it's something that I want to do. Um, the AFL have been chatting with me and Cook and that's why we've been on their channel. So Hopefully more and more stuff can happen over there, but it's just an exciting time to be alive. I'm eating Kit Kats and doing YouTube live streams. How good's that? So it is Thursday. It is five, uh, 5.45, nearly 6 o'clock, um, about an hour and a bit away from the stream. Just went and picked up some chips and drinks for the boys. Going to order a pizza. So, um, yeah, really can't wait to... Uh, get it all underway uh yeah so we've set up the live stream arena this is what it looks like we've got the camera ready to go um, Morgan here Morgan's on uh, the de the debut yep. old uh, Ky Kyle's done great stuff this week but Kyle's he's, the OG he's accidentally uh stuffed Morgan's no, name up that's in all the graphics. Been like the R anyway, so. <laughs> Who needs an R? <laughs> and there's one L too many in Hilltop as well. So, <laughs> so um, but yeah, five minutes away from the stream. We cannot wait. Um, if you'd missed this week's stream, we'll be doing another one on Thursday night. So definitely get involved. But uh, we're bloody pumped, aren't we? Uh, Exciting times with the boys and the briskets. Oh, the well, have you um 15 minutes early? Have you got that Instagram thing that I sent you? Yeah, I'll put it up. Five minutes. Cookson's been called out in a video. We got the pizza here. Footy's not that far away. Puts us pumped. Here we go. Rod mod. Last quarter, boys. The pies have kicked clear. What are your thoughts, Cookson? Uh the pie's been too good all night, to be honest. But um, yeah, that's fair. Not a bad match. Colin would just look very good, to be honest. Puds. Uh, have you seen your first stream tonight? Yeah, it's been good. Uh, good fun. It's good quality content. Oh, to go, he's kicked another one. You missed out on this stream. Michaela's watched week. the stream. Next or not. week, Thursday night, we'll be doing the stream again for the Catters and the Crows. So look forward to that one. Doing some phone calls. Oh, on have, we, the, have we gone a bit late with Nikki B? Doing some phone calls on the live stream, Cook. It's one of our favourite segments. It's late. Ooh. And the pies have gotten over the line. None of our tips got up. Um, That's disappointing. Shows how much Nikki we B, know get on football. Your phone. We got you. All right, bit of a story time with old mate Dosso. Um, yeah, a lot of the D's are playing at GMHBA Stadium this week. So I'm a Melbourne supporter from Geelong. And um, just picture this. All my mates go for the Cats. All my mates go for Geelong. And between a 10-year period, Geelong won three flags, played finals every year were absolutely dominating. And the D's had one of the worst 10 year periods in AFL, VFL history. And it was unrelenting. Like every time the D's would come to Geelong, I'd be so excited because it was like, this is elite. Like I get to meet some of my favorite players just in my backyard. And then we'd lose by nearly 200 points. <laughs> and that happened a lot. I think I've been to around 10 or 15 Melbourne Footy Club games at Geelong. I think I've seen us win twice. So, <laughs> It hasn't been too much fun. 
I didn't like Geelong, the football club, because I, I cop shit from my mates who go for the Cats. Um, and I cop shit from the mates who don't have memberships and don't go to the games. Top three favourite memories of Dee's playing in Geelong. Number three would probably be the win in 2005. That's the first time I ever saw the D's win in Geelong. Russell Robinson kicked seven. Um, yeah, an, an amazing game. And it was just such an upset when we got over the line. Two, probably last year's kick after the sign where we lost. Like I, I saw a draw once. I saw us draw down at Simmons. But I think, yeah, I don't know. I was sitting front row with Dill last year. Um, I know we butchered the last quarter, but that was just such a great game. See how shattered the D's were after the game and how much it meant to them. And I was front row and we lost after the siren. And I just thought, yeah, like, what a great effort. Number one was in, um, in 2015 when we beat the Cats. Um, I actually decided not to go to that. I was sick of watching us play in Geelong. So I decided not to go to the game and um, we were winning <laughs> with a quarter and a half to go. So I actually got in my car and went and watched the last quarter in a bit. And that's, you know, the, I've never really given up on the team. I've never really thrown in the towel. I've gone to 200 point, I've gone to 150 point losses and then turned up the next week. You know, I've, I've sat, you know, I never leave early. So I've sat through 100 point losses, but it was in 2015 and I was just a bit over going to Geelong watching us get flogged. So I decided not to go, didn't buy a ticket and um, saw how well we played all day to cause one of the upsets of the year that with a quarter and a bit to go, I went down and enjoyed the win. Snuck in the rooms, saw Angus Brayshaw and Bernie Vince. So um, that's probably my number one memory of the D's in Geelong. If you want to see more of me telling stories about games I've been to and stuff like that, comment down below. Um, the D's are playing in Geelong in about four hours time. So I've got to get ready and uh, I'll be making a vlog about it. So check that out. That is another video guys. I appreciate everyone who watched. I appreciate all the support. We're absolutely flying in subscribers at the moment. So if you go to school and you know someone who loves footy, tell them to sub to DOS. We've got to start the movement, sub to DOS, get your friends involved, your mum, your cousins. I'm really keen to start getting those subs pumping. So um, yeah, if you've got mates who love footy, get them involved. But um, I appreciate you watching this video. I appreciate all the support. And I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.